Do you want to know one of the biggest secrets to having great style? It's something I recommend to all of my clients. It's something I do myself and it's something that I recommend you do as well. So if you're short, if you're tall, if your torso is long, if you are busty, if your waist is small, if your hips are big, whatever it is, we are all different body sizes, right? One of the biggest things I recommend is getting your items tailored and altered to fit your body perfectly. When clothing is made, it is based on a size model. There's someone that goes in that tries on the clothes and they base a size six or a size eight on this particular body type, not on your body type. Well, chances are your size six and that size model size six will be a little bit different. So this is where doing simple alterations will make your clothes fit so much better and elevate each outfit that you wear. In this video, I'm gonna share the nine most common alterations that I recommend to my clients. The first alteration I recommend, and I would say at least 50% of my clients have had to get this done, is to have your jeans altered. Now, if you're on the shorter side, if you're petite or your legs are shorter, if your torso is longer, you will most likely need to get your jeans tailored to be the appropriate length. Now, I recommend, this is so important, I think it's so sloppy when you see somebody with jeans that are too long and sometimes they stepped on them a bunch, so there's holes in the back, they're dirty in the back, that just looks so sloppy. It's so easy to just get your jeans tailored so that they fit you appropriately, just to get that hemline to the right place. Now, I do recommend if you do wear heels as well as flats, when you go to the tailor with your jeans, you wanna make sure you're trying them on, and I would recommend wearing them with both heels and flats and having the tailor find the best length of your jeans that will work with both shoes. And there is that perfect length, I promise you. The next thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure to tell the tailor you want the original hem sewn back on. So what that means is that the original hem that's on your jeans, the designer actually made that specific for those jeans, that will stay on. There's this way that the tailor can do it to keep that on, as opposed to just cutting the original hem off folding the jean and then creating a new hem, sewing a new line, which doesn't look like the original jean. It usually looks like you've had the jean hemmed, which is not what you wanna do. So ask the tailor to keep the original hem on. That's a really big, important key to getting your jeans altered. Now, another thing with altering your jeans, if you have to size up in your jeans to fit your backside or your hips, but the waist then ends up being too big, there's an easy trick you can do. You can actually bring in the waist in the back, they can sew in, it looks like an upside down triangle, and they can sew the pieces of the back together and make it so the jean actually will fit you perfectly. Now again, this is so much more effective than wearing a belt with the jeans or constantly having to pull your jeans up throughout the day or getting a size too small that is really hard to put on or you're uncomfortable with. So again, these two alterations are the ones I recommend the most to my clients when it comes to their jeans. Now the second item I recommend getting altered is dress pants. So the same thing here that we just talked about with your jeans, you wanna make sure that the hemline hits at that perfect spot on your leg. So you wanna to go to the tailor with a pair of heels if you wear heels and also flats with these dress pants. Make sure to try on both your heels and your flats with your dress pants to find where they should be altered, where it needs to be hemmed. And always trust your own judgment. And if you're not sure, and the tailor's not sure, sometimes tailors don't actually know what's like in style. They know how to sew things, but they don't always know, oh, where is the pant supposed to fall? So if you're not sure, I would always err on the side of going a little bit longer, and then you can always alter it again if you decide you wear it and it feels too long. So again, what I recommend with your dress pants is making sure that you can wear them with flats or heels if you plan on doing that. Another tip with your dress pants, if your dress pants have pockets that you actually use, not like ones that just look like pockets, but there's nothing there, ask to get them sewn down. And the reason is pockets accentuate that area. So they will make you look like your hips are a little bigger or your bottom's a little bigger. Now, if your hips are more on the straighter side or more on the narrow side, you probably don't need to get your pockets sewn down. But if you have any issues with feeling bigger on the bottom, if you're more of a pear shape, then I would definitely recommend getting your pockets sewn flat or sewn shut. And the last tip when it comes to your dress pants, if your waist on your dress pants is too small, you can actually sew in a piece of fabric. So usually if you look underneath your pants, there's usually extra fabric there that matches obviously your pants. So the tailor can cut out a little piece. You don't need a lot, maybe an inch or two, can cut out a little piece 
from that fabric that's not seen, that's underneath your pants, and sew it into the back of your waistband on your dress pants. And that way it gives you an extra inch or two if you need it to make your waistband bigger on your dress pants. The next item I recommend altering is the length of your dresses or skirts. Now, if you're wearing a pencil skirt, you wanna make sure that it hits just above the knee. You don't want it to be too long unless you're going for that midi length pencil skirt, but I only really recommend that if you're five, six or taller, because if you're more petite like me, if you're on the shorter side, if a skirt comes longer than your knee, it's just gonna make you look shorter than what you are. So in general, for most women, if you're under five, six, that you want and you wanna wear a pencil skirt, you wanna make sure it comes just above the knee. That's the same with your dresses. You're not really, you don't want your dresses to be in that weird place where they're at the knee or just below the knee, unless again, you're doing a midi dress and you're on the taller side. When it comes to a maxi dress or a maxi skirt that is supposed to be really long and down to your ankles, again, same thing as I said before, you wanna make sure that you're not stepping on it, that it's not so long that you're literally walking on it. You wanna make sure it's at that right length that you can walk freely and there's not gonna be a concern that you're gonna trip on it. So making sure to get that right length for your body type and for what feels best, depending on the style of the skirt or dress, and then also your height and the length of your legs. The fourth item I recommend tailoring is your blazers. So your blazers, if the sleeves end up being too long, mine actually were for my black blazer that I've had now for years, that if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen it a ton, but those sleeves were too long for me. And I actually just had them taken up about half an inch. I had the buttons moved. It was not a big deal for the tailor. They did a great job. You can't even tell that it's been altered, but it just had that sleeve come at that right spot. So you just want it just past the wrist. You don't want it too long where it's, you know, nearing your thumb or the middle of your palm. You want it just slightly past the wrist, just not even a quarter inch past the wrist. And that way it kind of just gives you a lengthening look. It doesn't look like you're wearing something that's too big. Another alteration you may need to make with your blazer, if you're petite or you're on the shorter side or your torso's on the shorter side, your blazer may hit too long. And if it does, again, you can literally just ask the tailor to bring it up, whether it's half an inch or a quarter inch or whatever you may need, but you want it to be just basically just hitting at the hip. You don't want it to be too long because again, it's gonna shorten your frame, it's gonna make your legs look shorter. You want it to hit just at the hip to get that perfect length. Men get their suits and their blazers and their shirts and their pants tailored all the time. I find that even with clients where money or time isn't an issue, for some reason, there's some resistance to getting items tailored to fit you perfectly. There's some idea that the clothes should already fit you perfectly when you buy them off the rack. And that is very, very rare for items to fit perfectly, unless you're the perfect size of a size model of that particular designer. But even as most of us know, sizes are different from designer to designer. The key is finding pieces that you love that maybe just need one or two simple alterations, but that are pieces that will be investments that make sense to fit you perfectly. It will completely change how clothes look on you. There was a stylist I knew who was petite. She was probably 5'2", and she had, I remember she had these dress pants and she had them in a few different colors and I love them and I thought for sure they were you know in the two or three hundred dollar price range and I remember when I asked her where she got them from she said H&M I said H&M she said yes but the key was I had them tailored so she got these dress pants and then had them tailored and they looked like three hundred dollar pants so sometimes that's something to think about but you want to make sure your clothes fit you otherwise it's just a waste of money when you're buying something if you're not going to have the clothes fit you perfectly because then you won't reach for them, you won't wear them. You might as well just leave them at the store. The fifth item I recommend clients get alter are blouses or dresses or tops that maybe they're too low cut. So especially if you're on the bustier side, if any of your tops just end up being too low cut or even if there's gapes or anything like that, it's so simple to have a tailor put a snap or a hook and an eye, they can put it right there and then you just literally snap it together. Most of the time there's extra fabric that you can do that easily. If there's not extra fabric, the other thing I recommend you can do, and I have had clients do this, especially when it's more like formal dresses that they just needed to be dressed a little bit more conservatively than what the dress they chose was. But I've had tailors take again, that extra fabric that's underneath the dress 
that there is usually at the hem. Take a small piece of that and sew it in to that low cut V to bring the dress up a little higher. And then again, it just looks like seamless. It looks effortless. This is a way to just bring those pieces up a little bit higher if you don't want really low cut items. And going along with that last tip is putting snaps between any button down blouses that gape. So again, this will happen sometimes, especially if you're on the bustier side. If you have a shirt, if it's silk or something that's more of a, a, a smooth fabric, like a satin, it will tend to gape at times where there's like a little gaping area. Now, again, it's so easy for a tailor to put a snap between the buttons that is completely concealed by the fabric and you know, from the side, it doesn't gape anymore. So again, that's just an easy, easy alteration to bring some of your items into a, I love that piece as opposed to, oh, I'm not gonna wear that today because I'm uncomfortable when it gapes. Now, the next thing I recommend when you're purchasing a blouse or you're purchasing a dress or even pants, you want to purchase the size that fits your biggest part. So for example, if your biggest part is your hips, you want to get a dress that is going to fit your hips. Now it might be bigger on top and then you're going to have to get the top altered, but that will again, make the dress fit you. You don't want to size down so it fits your top because then it's going to be so tight on your hips and you'll be uncomfortable. And that's really not the best way to go about choosing what size is going to be the best for you. So another example is if you're buying a blouse and your bust are on top, you want the blouse to fit your bust, the biggest part of you. And then you're going to probably have to get the sides taken in at the waist if your waist tends to be smaller. And again, these are really, really common alterations that I recommend to people all the time that I've done myself in pieces in my closet that will completely elevate your wardrobe. So the next item I recommend getting altered is a jumpsuit or joggers. Now, if you're someone that feels like you can't wear jumpsuits, or you can't wear joggers, you're too curvy, you have too much hip. Well, I'm curvy and I have hips and I love wearing my jumpsuits and my joggers. The key is to make sure the bottom of the pants have elastic and then pulling that up to just below the mid calf. That will give your body more proportion and will actually make joggers and jumpsuits look really chic. Sometimes joggers and jumpsuits have no elastic. They're just kind of straight and they hit down at the ankle. And that's great if you're on the taller side, if you're on the more narrow side, if you're not curvy, that works. But if you have any curves, I recommend getting elastic put into the bottom of the jumpsuit or the joggers and pulling them up a little bit on your mid calf or just below the mid calf to give you that illusion of proportion. So the last alteration that I recommend to people all the time that I've done myself is to change the buttons on your blazer, on a cardigan, on a jacket or your coat. So buttons really, it's that hardware on your clothing. And if the hardware looks cheap or it's too big or too shiny or, or something else, maybe just a, a strange color, it completely makes the piece look just not so sophisticated and kind of inexpensive and cheap looking. But changing the buttons on an item can completely change the way that piece looks. Another video I recommend you go and watch next is 10 style rules that will change your life. If you haven't seen this one yet, these are really good and really helpful. So go ahead and watch that video next. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys go through your closets, find those pieces that need alterations, and once and for all, make a time to go to the tailor and get those items altered. It will change your wardrobe. So make sure to like this video and subscribe so other people just like you can find it. And I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.